Right, today I'm going to unbox the Bruce Lee 90mm EDF ARF. And there's details of this in the description of the video, so you can go down there and have a look. Now this is the box as it comes, as you can see, there's quite a bit of stuff in here. So let's have a closer look exactly at what is in here. Now, there is a couple of cardboard boxes here. And inside there, let me just zoom in on this for you because I've got my uh, remote in my hand. Inside this box we've got an EDF, no we haven't, we've got some serverless retracks. They come as part of the setup. And we've got some undercarriage struts and wheels and some servo horns. That's interesting. On the other side we have a, a fan unit. And it's, uh, ooh, it's a lot of blades. There's a lot of blades in this fan unit. I won't count them. I don't know how many there are. 10 or 16 or something. But get all the, get all the plastic stuff off. And I'll oh, give you a look at that so you can see. A lot of fan blades in there. So you get that. There's a collet or a shaft adapter there. And a whole lot of nuts and bolts and screws and things. Okay, so no sign of a motor. So there's no motor in this thing, so I'll have to have a look and see what size motor it takes. It's the contents of the hardware boxes. Now, oh, something else in here. Hang on, what's this? It's a little piece of carbon rod. Don't know what that's for. Dare say we'll find out. Now, here is the, the jet nacelle, which if we... Oh, I, won't, I need to I have to get myself a knife. And here is a knife. So I'll just cut open the jet in the cell bag. I'll have a look and see what you get in there. Make sure I don't slip my wrist at the same time. So there's the nacelle. And this looks to be a composite construction. All nicely wrapped in tissue paper so it shouldn't get scratched. Let's have a look. Oh yes, it's uh, fiberglass with some some formers inside, you can see the formers inside there. So your fan unit goes in there, it's actually quite nicely finished I have to say, very nicely finished. Very nice indeed. So, put that to one side so it doesn't get scratched. And of course the Bruce Lee stickers. Where would you be without your Bruce Lee stickers? Shame it doesn't say Simpson, never mind. Perhaps the next version, Bob. Uh, we've got a composite rod for the wing join. It's a big sheet of acetate here, it's, you know, the Transparent plastic. I don't know where that goes. No doubt we will discover later. There is a canopy here. There's my knife again. Canopy. It's like just a blown plastic canopy. Don't need to take that out of the bag, I don't think. And then we have the fuselage, which is all very much glued to the box. So I guess we'll just cut the plastic bag is going to be the easiest way. And it's got a very sharp nose, so you probably want to be careful with that. Now, let's have a look at this. I'll just get the, again, it's covered in tissue because it's got an extremely high finish. I must say I'm very impressed with the finish. It's glass, composite, and the finish is excellent. Absolutely glorious. I'll just zoom out a bit because you can't see very much as it is. So we'll go wide. And the colour scheme is quite nice. I must say I do like the yellow and the black. This is the fuselage. And obviously the blown canopy goes over here. And there's a little bit of a hatch here. I'll work that out later. Retract ready. Put the holes because it's got the serverless retracts. Um, fiberglass, plywood formers. Really... And as I say, that nose it is sharp. So that's the fuselage side of things. It's quite a thin skin, but it's not that light. It's not going to blow away in the breeze. Still, you don't really need a light jet, do you? Here are the wings. I have to say, they actually look quite small. The uh, fuselage is pretty much a lifting body as well. Here's one of the wings. And uh, not a bad colour scheme. They are plywood built up construction and sheeted, oh, we've got some film underneath, One, oh that's the servo bay under there, so they're sheeted and 
hinged but not glued by the look of it. So there's two wings and then of course there are the vertical stabilizers which are obviously composite because they're wrapped in that tissue again. Great lengths have been taken to protect the composite parts from being scratched and I really like that because nothing would be worse than getting a fancy new model and having it all scratched before you even got it in the air. So here we go and that's quite a nice, see they've actually got a good airfoil section to that on the vertical stabilizer. It's again it's not light but it is quite sturdy and uh, a nice color scheme to boot. So there you go. That's what you get for your money with the Bruce Lee. So there's another wing and another vertical stabilizer in there. So that's what you get for your money and I guess the next thing we've got to do is put it together and we'll use a brushless motor and the fan unit that comes with it and we'll see if it flies electric and then then of course we'll put a jet engine on it. Let's take a look inside. There's the canopy or the top part of the canopy and what was that a piece of glue? Yes just a piece of glue. Um, inside obviously we've got battery rack there for putting the battery on in there and plywood formers. The glue seems to, they've used a lot of glue which is very very good because sometimes they skimp some of these cheap models, well on cheap models I should say they sometimes skimp gluing the formers and that can make for a very weak construction but this actually looks rather nice. I must say I'm quite impressed with the build quality so far but of course you don't know until you've put it all together. Next plan, put it together. So that's been the unboxing, that's pretty straightforward, that's what you get, the Bruce Lee 90mm EDF. Build video coming up very very soon on the RC Model Reviews channel. Oh come on tell me that isn't sex on a stick, what a gorgeous looking plane, absolutely beautiful looking plane there. I love it, it's such a sexy looking piece of work, it's not even together, just loosely placed together the parts but uh, this is going to look pretty damn nice when it's all decked out and ready to go, especially with, I think we'll put about a about an 8 pound thrust pulse jet on this one once we've tested out the electric side.